Okay, folks, uh, another part of this uh, laboratory demonstration. Um, this is the measurement equipment being used for the sound, uh, as the sound measurement part of the laboratory. This is the microphone in my hand. Okay, it's a very fancy scientific quality microphone. The uh, sensor is at the end of this. Basically, it's a pressure sensor, but it can measure audio frequencies up to a very high frequency. Uh, this is attached to the computer through a data acquisition system. Um, so, uh, if you focus on the screen here, so if I zoom the camera into the screen, okay, a little bit more perhaps to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I'll try and make sure that my head doesn't get in the way of the monitor. Okay, there we go, that's good. So, if I switch the monitor to a live waveform and if I talk into the microphone then you can see the waveform sound, pressure level on the vertical axis, time on the horizontal axis. Okay? If I shut up and if I talk and if I try and do a little uh, sing a note into it uh, so sound wave, okay, switch it to spectral analysis, so we're now an live analysis of the spectrum, then you can see as I talk, the spectrum changes with time, it's each sample, each sample is a second, and that's the spectral analysis of that second's worth of data. So if I try and sing a note, ah, not that, ah, some very distinctive spikes in the data. Okay, now uh, I've got something here that can play a very accurate middle C. Direct that into the microphone. Middle C, 261 hertz. So this middle C is coming off a simulated tuning fork, which will be a very precise 261 hertz. Okay? And if we go back to the waveform, it's looking funny simply because the horizontal axis is quite compressed. And back to the spectrum. So that's, from a tuning fork, a sound. Now, I can also show a signal from a signal generator. I've got a signal generator running at 261 hertz, middle C. Um, I'll show that data. I'll switch it to sign mode first. Go to channel two. All right, where's the data? Where are the data? Ah, oh, all right. Three. Two. Wave spectrum. All oh. oh, right, because I switched it over to a high frequency is why. There we go. What a muppet. That's better. Sine wave. Okay. Always look at the instrument. There's the pure sine wave. If I show the time signal from that. It looks neater because it's coming from a, um, a pure voltage waveform source. Go back to the spectrum. 261 hertz. That's a pure sine wave. If I switch that to a square wave, square wave's got the same fundamental 261 hertz, but we've got, there's the fundamental there, but we've got these harmonics at higher frequencies. And if you do a mathematical analysis of a pure square wave using um, Fourier analysis theory, then um, you will get those harmonics. Higher frequency, first harmonic, second harmonic, and so on. These harmonics go up to in, in, uh, an, infinite integer, an infinitely large integer number of the fundamental, but they're at different amplitude and phase, and that's what gives a sound its, its quality. Okay, 